in different parts of the huge area of British West Africa, institutions of higher learning have been founded and are climbing upwards. Achimoto College is one of them. It is in the Gold Coast. The people of the Gold Coast are anxious to tell of what may be seen at Achimoto. It has become a symbol for them. It is providing on their own soil the first instalment of the higher education for which they hunger and is an earnest of their future progress. Achimota is a general center of education with over 500 students. It comprises a secondary school, teacher training and the beginnings of a university department. Twenty years ago, the Gold Coast government built it and endowed it and then handed over control to an independent council. Achimota is residential. The students live in houses, about 60 to each. Whether their fathers are chiefs or traders, lawyers from the cities or small farmers from bush villages, all share the same life. There are no servants in the houses. The students themselves keep the place clean and tidy. The students in the university department have their own cubicles. The rest sleep in dormitories. Breakfast in the dining hall. Students fetch the food for their tables. Achimota is co-educational, with about a quarter of the students girls and women. Each day the boys and girls from the houses meet for the first time at breakfast. There are girl and boy prefects to help in keeping order. Many of the secondary pupils are older than they would be in Britain. The staff meet for their daily discussion over a cup of tea. Some are European, some African. One is from Ceylon. Here the principal is chatting with one of his African colleagues. White, black or brown, they all work together as a happy team. In this climate, shorts and an open shirt are the best dress for work. After breakfast, the work of the day begins. <laughs> Better late than never. Some of these classes are in the secondary school, some in the teacher training department. The secondary school pupils are studying for just the same school certificate examination that English boys and girls take in their schools. They're learning geometry, English, physics, and all the rest of the usual subjects. The language of instruction is English. 
Tribal Africans couldn't read or write. Now their sons and daughters are sharing in the store of the world's knowledge. Europeans and Africans must be partners in this enterprise of bringing knowledge to Africa. The college crest is a symbol of this partnership. It represents the black and white keys of the piano. This crest was the idea of Dr. Agri, the distinguished West African who was one of the original staff of the college. For harmony, he said, you need both the black and the white keys. geography master is an African. The students learn about their own continent, where the Gold Coast lies, the position of Achimota itself. Africans used to think of school as a place where boys learned English and passed European examinations to get clerical jobs in offices. From its beginning, Achimota has set out to emphasize that book learning by itself is not enough. Those who pass through the college all learn the value of work with their hands as well. Achimota has a school of arts and crafts. Every boy and girl in the secondary school, every teacher in training has to learn some craft. Black Africa had the craft of pottery, but it never invented the potter's wheel. Now, from its far distant origin in Asia, Europeans have brought the potter's wheel to Africa. There has always been weaving in West Africa. At Ajimota, the students learn to work the hand looms which they can go on using in their own homes. peoples work in wood, but the Europeans have brought their tools to Africa and Achimota students become as good carpenters as boys do anywhere. The Achimota girls learn European needlework. Sewing will always come in useful, and fine sewing is an art. Everyone has to have some hobby. Basket weaving is one of the hobbies. You can see how the boys enjoy the deft work. All the boys at Achimota have to do a course on the college farm. West Africa depends mainly on agriculture most of its people are small farmers. One of the big things that Europeans can bring to Africa is the knowledge of methods to make the soil more productive. The plough was unknown in black Africa, and even where oxen could be kept, their manure was rarely used, and the Africans practiced shifting cultivation, moving to new land as the old became exhausted. All African cultivation used to be done with the hoe, but as this simple demonstration with a ruler shows, the plough goes deeper than the hoe, besides being less laborious. Pigs are not usually kept in Africa, but they do quite well and are important in supplying the animal protein so lacking in the forest country.
the Africans have poultry. With the Dachimota, they learn about better breeds and better methods of keeping them. The most interesting part of Achimota is perhaps the university department. Here is something beyond mere school. True that in almost all subjects, the students today cannot go beyond intermediate standard, which is only the first stage of a university career in England. Nonetheless, here is the one place in the Gold Coast where a beginning has been made with real higher education. Only in engineering is it possible to take a full degree. For degree work in other subjects, students have now to go to Britain or America. Here, what they have drawn in theory is tried out in practice. Meanwhile, the intermediate courses at Achimota are turning out a rapidly growing number of the future secondary school teachers, the medical and law and engineering students, the educated chiefs, the agricultural assistants, the administrators, which the Gold Coast so badly needs. The future women teachers have to take a course of housecraft or domestic science. They learn better ways of cooking, both European and African. Above all, they learn the value of cleanliness and order in the home. Let me quote Dr. Agri again. He used to be fond of repeating this saying. If you educate a man, you educate an individual. But if you educate a woman, you educate a family. And of course, if you educate a good woman teacher, through her, you educate many families. One of the staple dishes of West Africa is fufu made from cassava or yams or the big bananas called plantains. Here the girls are learning to prepare it in the best and cleanest way. The training of teachers is one of Echimoto's most vital tasks. In the Gold Coast today, only one child in eight gets any schooling at all. The new knowledge and the new way of life that West Africa needs must come in large measure through the teachers in its schools. Achimota has a specialized course for teachers of arts and crafts. They learn about their own African art and music, they do imaginative painting and design, they learn carving, they practice mural painting against the time when they will want to decorate their own school buildings. The aim is always to combine the best traditional African design with modern European methods. And among other things, they learn the Western techniques of realistic drawing from a living model. These future teachers are taught useful crafts in the most thorough way. They learn how to open up the raw cotton. How to spin it on a simple spinning wheel. How to make the warp.
how to operate the looms. It is important that West Africa should keep its village industries, and equally important that they should be as efficient as possible. Achimoto believes that education brings its responsibilities as well as its privileges. In the Red Cross link, the students visit the neighboring villages and help the doctor and the nurses of the mobile dispensary. In this and other ways, the college has always been a center of voluntary social service. At half past three each day, the classes end. At play, the likeness to an English school is intensified. West Africa has no traditional team games, but has taken very kindly to ours. Football is very popular. The girls play hockey, there's volleyball, there's tennis, and the boys are becoming keen cricketers. The chief organized recreation of West Africa was, and is, its tribal dancing. Once every few weeks, the students put on their dignified native robes and dance their tribal dances. Echimota knows that European science and social outlook are necessary, but it does not want to turn West Africa into an imitation Europe. It must develop a civilization of its own, in which the best of its old traditions are combined with the new ideas from outside. And so another day comes to a close at Achimota. Each day a contribution to the future well-being of the peoples of West Africa.